So sometimes at first glance, everything looks okay with the part. All right. And then he cast it and pieces are missing. Yeah, that's because they don't intersect. They should be looking at this in the CAD. What is positioning your parts? Positioning your parts means that the parts you are going to Boolean together intersect completely. And this is important because if you do not, it's going to create a very small gap which will fill with investment during the casting process and give you a bad casting every single time. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We Boolean these prongs to this top, but if we pick the top and hide it, you're going to notice some of the prongs weren't even Boolean. That's because they did not intersect all the way through, while other prongs just nipped the edge of the top and we're able to be Boolean together. However, this is not good because if we go to our front viewport and we put a clipping plane there to see what's going on inside, you will notice a very slight gap. That gap is the gap that's going to give you problems. It's going to fill with investment and it's going to break off during the casting process and cause porosity time and time again. Also, when it's building in the Sodscape machine, it's not firmly in there, so it probably will break off before it even gets to the casting process, and that'll add a lot of time and a lot of cost. You know, I'm not sure everybody's checking for stuff like this. They should be checking their file as they're doing it, and especially when it's finished. Their parts should not be falling off. They have to be attached. What's important to note is that when you intersect your object that there are no planar surfaces. A planar surface is two surfaces that coexist in the same dimension. Let me show you by just creating two surfaces. So if we create a surface here and then we put a surface on top of that, these two surfaces are coplanar. They exist in the same place in any program. In any machine, if you introduce this kind of coplanar situation, it will not know which surface to build, and it will cause many, many problems for you. This is something to really, really watch out for. So in this situation where I have my shank here, instead of putting the top just at the edge where you see here it just lands on it, just pull it down a little bit, and then do your Boolean process and that will create a watertight solid ready to be exported as an STL. In summary, we covered intersecting your parts to eliminate gaps and to avoid coplanar surfaces so you will have successful booleans and better parts. Hi guys, thanks for watching. Please look for other videos in this series and learn how to perfect your trade. trade.